So I just got this book, this Hallmark Channel Countdown to Christmas. I got it at Barnes & Noble and it is so cool. If you are a Hallmark fan, then you are absolutely going to love this book. It's got a lot of the behind the scenes. So I decided that I wanted to make a recipe from this book. Each Saturday night, I'm going to be posting a new recipe from the book throughout the month of December while I'm doing Vlogmas. And this is another really cool thing that I found in the book. It has movie bingo, so it's a watch and play. For example, um, if you see a charming local cafe, you put a uh, chip on there and that's how you play. It's got a ton of different little, you know, things that you would normally see in any Hallmark movie. So the book is fantastic. And today what we're gonna make is Jody Sweeten's Peanut Butter Kiss Cookies. I hope you guys enjoy and get you in the Christmas spirit. So first things first, I am not a baker whatsoever, but my daughter loves to bake and she does it all the time. So we decided to do it together. And my grandson, Adam, as you guys know, he wanted to help. So she was getting all the ingredients together for me and he was pouring them inside the bowl. And I was just there to assist, but the cookies came out, spoiler alert, they were delicious. So I will leave the recipe for you guys below in case you want to um, do it yourself because I highly recommend that you do because they actually came out so good. So yeah, that's what we're doing now. We're just getting all the ingredients together and we're, put, we're doing all the dry ingredients first. If you know anything about baking, you know that's usually you do the wet ingredients in one bowl, the dry ingredients in another, and then you mix it together. But yeah, this book was amazing, you guys. If you do not have this book yet, then I suggest you run out and get it. I will uh, find it on Amazon and link it and put it in the description box below for you guys to order it from Amazon if you don't want to head out to Barnes & Noble. And uh, yeah, that's where I got it, like I said, but you can get it from Amazon too. And I will leave it in the description box below for you guys to do that. I just want to mention one thing about the butter. It didn't say to leave the butter out and to let it be room temperature. So mine was cold and it was really hard to mix. So if you do this recipe, and I do recommend that you leave the butter out so that it is at room temperature because it'll make it easier to mix. The book says that it makes about four dozen cookies. I don't see how it can make that many because when mine was all said and done, the size of my cookies looks similar to the size in the book. So, and mine made about 24 cookies and that was me uh, using, you know, rolling them up 
uh, a fair size you know it was not too big not too small I thought they were perfect and you will see in a minute that they came out just like the book <laughs> all right and today's question is what is your favorite cookie? Is it chocolate chip? Is it peanut butter? Is it raisin? Is it oatmeal? Whatever it is, leave it in the comments below. As always, it is for you guys to be entered in the giveaway. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and that you are running out and making this recipe because the cookies are so delicious. We are pretty much done with them. I think we have like one or two left. And as you can see, it made a lot of cookies. And if you don't want to do it with the Hershey's Kisses on top, they're just as delicious without the Hershey's Kisses. So yeah, you guys, let me know if you're gonna run out and get the book and if you're gonna make this recipe. Remember to like and subscribe and to leave me a comment so that you're entered in the giveaway. And I will see you guys in a brand new video tomorrow. Bye.